You go. All right, man. Then uh, tell them your name, first name, last name, and where you where you from and where you played football at. I'm Ladaris Van. I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida, and I played at the University of Cincinnati. And this is also known, a.k.a. Mr. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, act- yeah, you actually gave me the uh, name uh, Playmaker 6. You gave me that <laughs> name, and I ended up putting that on that name on the back of my license plate. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. On the yeah. act right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, so so man, and and I'm excited to do this because man, I was always intrigued by your story because yours is a little bit different. You was a two sport athlete at the University of Cincinnati. Yes, sir. Yep, you played football and baseball. Man, I'm gonna steal all your thunder right now. But yeah. but tell 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 them about your 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 baseball career, man. Uh, as far as uh, you choosing football over baseball coming out of high school. Tell tell the people about that story, man. I think that's pretty dope that not many people know about you. Yes. Um, out of college, uh, out of high school, my best sport was baseball. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I had a scholarship. I lost, um, we'll get into this, but I'm going to just go briefly. I lost all my scholarships for football uh, my senior year of football because some things went on. I was out there and recruited by Every school in Florida, Florida State, uh, UM, Florida. I actually uh, committed to UM um, to play DB, actually. Uh, but yes, uh, but uh, when I lost all of them scholarships, uh, actually the person that handpicked and recruited me was Jimbo Fisher mm. uh, from Cincinnati. So when I got there, they were trying to pull me to DB, but he was like, nah, he's playing offense. So <laughs> I got in there with uh, Jimbo. And, and and the story is history, but baseball was always, man, and, and before I signed that scholarship with um, University of Cincinnati, I had an offer from Rice University uh, to play baseball. So I'm like, I'm contemplating and everything like that. And I also had, you know, I had a couple of professional workouts, Atlanta Braves and all that. Uh, but my dad said, I'm going to going to college. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Uh um, so I, uh, contemplated my dad, uh, I, I took the visit to Cincinnati and, you know, it was, it was, I ain't gonna say I had a lot of fun, <laughs> but I seen a lot of pretty women that when I went back, I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I think they migrated them in there just for that weekend. So, you know what I mean? Like I end up, my dad said, uh, you're not going to sign that yet. So we had that, um, uh, the, um, Cincinnati contract um, um, scholarship for like two weeks before we signed it. Mm. He said mm. he wanted to look around, make sure every, uh, make sure the Florida team won uh, back off. You know, I had a couple more offers, University of Houston, you know, uh, UC, uh, UCL, uh, just smaller uh, institutions at that time. But mm. I end up, you know, I wanted to go to UC. I, and, and, and when I signed that scholarship, man, make a lot, man, my grandma, hated the idea of me leaving so far. She said, she told me not to go. Ma. I said, Ma, I, I told him the exact words. I remember it like it was yesterday. I said, I got to go make something myself. Mm. Exact words. Mm. You know what I mean? And the story, you know, the story is history. It's history, man. And yeah. so wait, wait up. So when you say you you uh, you have professional offers, but your dad said, no, nah, you turning them down because you're going to college. You're going to yes. do a college degree. Yes. Mm. Yes, I was gonna mm. be drafted in the later rounds by the Atlanta Braves. That um, that I, um, I had, uh, I actually had a a, a scout for the Atlanta uh, Braves come to throw batting practice with me, like once a month. Mm. So he was coming down <laughs> and giving you a personal workout. Just yeah, the- yeah, just with- throwing batting practice and everything. Y'all know when I first came, I had the uh, Player of the Year baseball uh, pitch on my in the in the locker room in my locker. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So, you know what I mean. I, I, if I had all over to do again, honestly, I should have played baseball. Everybody kicked me in the butt that I didn't play baseball. You know, so. But you did. You, I mean, what, uh, how was how was your uh how how did you feel your career in baseball at UC? Because I mean, it was I used pretty to love good, but you play. but you know what happened with that situation, <laughs> right? 
It was a lot of jealousy because I used to go to baseball practice. I used to go to football practice in the spring and go play a game. Or I missed spring practice to go go play baseball. So it was a lot of jealousy around, and the, um, the baseball players didn't like that. You know what I mean? Mm. I, and I hate to bring it up to people, but I was the only black on that team. Mm. And I used to get in trouble, you know, um, Bob Gorn, the late Bob Gorn, excuse me, he, he didn't put me in his office several times, man. Great man. Told me, um, if you don't get your act graded, you ain't playing baseball. You're just going to be on that football field. Mm. You know what I mean? He suspended me uh, one time for uh, a week from baseball, uh, an incident that happened. Um, and then again, the same incident with the same guy, he called me out my name, you know, that name that you don't want to be called. Yeah. I like blacked out. And I end up... <laughs> I end up getting kicked off the uh, baseball team for that year. And I told him I'm not playing no more. I just don't want to risk my scholarship over that. Why? Because the guy that I was, uh, the guy that I used to always try to uh, egg me on, I was in his position. Mm. What position you play? I played outfield. I played uh, center and right field. They put me in right field to try to protect, uh, I'm going to say it, to protect the center field. The center field used to always strike out, man. I had the best. Hey, strike man, out I'm the hit ratio. I, I was in I'm the not, top. Huh? I ain't gonna let you off of this because 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 the name that I want to hear, this individual became a big time baseball player. Who? The, the the isn't it the the guy that became a no. Boston Red? He played Sox? no. He played third base. He uh, me and Kevin Euclid was good. Me and him was close. I mean, we, okay. I'm I'm cool with Kevin Euclid. Kevin Euclid played third base. It was a okay. center fielder. It was a center fielder that all his brothers and everything played there, man. That dude strike out every other plate appearance. <laughs> you know, me, uh, me, I batted first. Kevin Euclid batted third. We, uh, in that year, we led the, uh, we were lead, we was in the top five. Me and him was in the top five at least strikeouts per <clears> bat. <throat> like, I struck out maybe every 30 plate appearance once. Nice. You know what I mean? I probably had five, six strikeouts that whole year. But, you know, I always used to, uh, everybody used to say, man, you're the only person I ever knew that can hit the ball the second and beat it out. Like, <laughs> if I hit the ball in their field, I'm gone. I, hey, you, it, it's, we uh, don't, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we come back on that, man, because that's a lot to tell back. Because I never, when, when you say I hit the ball in the infield and I'm going to run that out, but when, when, and this is just my own assessment. I didn't never see you as the four three guy, the four two guy, but you were just so elusive, and mm -hmm. you knew how to play football so damn well. Like your awareness was on ten. I, I didn't think you was fast like like Chapman, and I didn't think you was uh, I didn't think you was you know a strider either. I was like, man, I don't know how he do it because he's not you know where you if you watching him run, you like yo. This dude is moving, but if you sticking you and you trying to tackle you, it's two different things. Right. So, so when you say you can hit the ball in the infield and run it out, I'm like, wait up, man. This, uh, uh, was it just your natural instinct for playing baseball? How long were you playing baseball? Uh, for UC? No, or just in for, general. For like, I, I started playing baseball before I started <laughs> playing football. Is that right? Yes, I started playing baseball um, at the age of nine. I probably played football the year after that once, they, once everybody seen me play baseball. Man, when I was nine years old, man, I'm not trying to toot my horn or nothing, but they tried to put me on the 12-year All-Star team when I was nine. <laughs> like, I went through a whole season of baseball, two seasons. Two seasons. I only struck out one time. Wow. And, wow. And, and that's in Florida. You know what I mean? I, I won. Um, baseball player. Uh, I was uh, first team all state in um in um Florida. I mean, you know, first team all county, uh, first team all uh, city in um in Florida, man. Florida being in Florida, being first yeah. team in, in Boca Raton, Florida, like Palm Beach County. You know how I many athletes and everything, Wellington, all the high schools around, man. It was, you know, I, I was. I thought everybody knew baseball was my best sport. Nice, nice. And, and man, when I see you,